The name of our album is En Couleur, which in French means in color. And throughout the album, there's little short uh, pieces of music, kind of like musical interludes in between songs. And uh, so we had the idea to, to arrange the music that way. And then listening back to it, um, we all kind of had like mental associations with different colors whenever we would hear each um, different little piece because they all have kind of a, d a different mood, you know. Some are more intense, some are more mellow, and um, just kind of that like mental association with the mood of music and color. And uh, so that's, I mean, really, it was kind of an afterthought to name the album that, you know. So I guess it kind of became a concept by default somehow. So the way that we created the musical interludes on the album was to feature tracks in the song that weren't necessarily prominently featured in the mix that appeared on the record. For example, we created one by um, using just the background vocals of the song. Another was created by uh, just using the electric guitar that was pretty distorted and heavy sounding with the drums um, slowed down to half time and some reversed electric guitar leads combined with some excerpts from field recordings by Alan Lomax. One of the songs that I wrote on the album is called Les Jours Sont Long, which in English translates to The Days Are Long. And the song basically talks about my terrible habit of procrastinating when it comes to writing songs and the entire song is pretty much about not really uh, writing songs enough and not finishing what I start and um, basically it just talks about you know wasting time like it's a it doesn't really take long to, to write a song you know but if you waste a lot of time it takes a long time to do anything because you're spending a lot of time doing nothing, really. So that's kind of what it talks about. That's why the days are long, because I spend them kind of wasting time all day, a lot of time, you know. One of my favorite tracks on the album is one called Ouvre la Porte, Open the Door, which was an ori originally an a cappella ballad that we found a field recording of. It basically tells the story of a man who goes to visit his lover and finds her sick and, and dying in bed. And she basically says, you know, don't worry about me, you'll find other girls. And he says, well, I, you know, I don't really want any other girls because you mean the most to me in the world, and so on and so forth. Um, and it's really a sad song, but for some reason to us, like, um, when we first heard it, there was no instrumentation at all. It was just someone singing it a cappella. And for some reason, the melody just sounded happier than, I guess, the meaning of the words did. So the way that we approached it was just based on the way the melody sounded to us. Um, it came out kind of really playful and happy sounding. It's actually the happiest sounding song on the on the record, but it's really, it, with its meaning, it's, it's really sad. We uh, incorporated some really bright sounding instruments on it, like a, a toy piano, which to me kind of brings up images of, of childhood and, and innocence and then uh, a glockenspiel which kind of does the same thing for me too, you know. Uh, so I guess we kind of approached it based on how we thought it should sound rather than um, the meaning of, of the song itself. I think um, some of the things that are different on this album than other albums that I've done, other other Cajun or Zydeco albums, is um, really the the level of experimentation, you know, or the level of uh, fearfulness, you know. I think that the, the band is at a, at a point in their career where they're not afraid to experiment. Um, a, a lot of other bands you know, they they go in there, they go into the studio with the mindset of, you know, it has to be exactly like our live show. 
you know, so live we have drums, bass, guitar, accordion, and that's all that we can put on the album. So even if you're hearing, you know, a great idea, like, wow, it would be great to double that guitar part, you know, or to add this beautiful descending piano line there, a lot of the bands will just, just cut you off at that point right there and say, no, 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 we don't have a piano player live and we're not going to be able to reproduce that live. And, um, you know, and that's the end of the story. They want the record to sound exactly like they do live. And that's great, too. You know, that's, that's a great thing. And you can still make wonderful records um, within those parameters. But uh, a wonderful thing about Faux Filet is um, I don't think that that thought ever crossed anybody's mind. I think um, that they were on board with trying to make the best record that we could make, you know, regardless of how they can pull it off live or how it'll sound live. You know, if we heard a part and the part would make the song better, um, they were all into it. It's really amazing to be involved in those kind of projects and I've really tried to make the studio a place that um, inspires creativity. Having lots of um, instruments around tucked into every corner, hey, what's, what's this thing, you know, oh, it's an Omnicord, well, what does it sound like, great, let's use this on a track. and. Um, it's very rare that you get the opportunity to make those kind of uh, records and I was uh, really excited when they called me to do the album again and I think that on, on Kular that we picked up where Cow Island Hop left off in, a, in again in a very very organic way so it's not at all contrived. I don't think that the band set out to make an album saying like, hey, well let's make this one, you know, weirder than Cow Island Hop was or anything like that. I think the band just came in with the songs that they had, you know, we built the foundation and then we added all of the nice little um, touches and accessories to each song and, uh, you know, the end result is something that's... Uh, larger than the sum of all of the individual parts. And a group like Faux Filet uh, was just not afraid to take any chances, you know, just to make the song as good as it can be, make the record as good as it can be, make everything as um, as beautiful and as colorful and as uh, wonderful as it could be and um, I think that we succeeded.